Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today we are going to have some fun with the transparent filament. In this video we are going to take a look at the best settings for transparent prints, what to print with this material and how to get the best possible results. In addition to that I will show you a very special transparent PLA. So let's cut the chase and get into it. Let's start by saying something very important. The transparency of a print is created with this type of material is 50% print settings and 50% the chosen filament. I've already posted a video regarding transparent filament where I uh, realized a Star Wars themed lamp. If you are interested, I will leave the link right there for you. Today, however, I'm using a different filament, Fiberlogy High Speed Clear PLA. I decided to bring you a video about it because, in my opinion, it is really one of the best transparent filaments that I've tried and uh, you will see yourself why. But let's talk about the settings. How can we get some transparent prints? There are a few key uh, parameters that will determine the quality of the final result. First of all, the number of walls and infill the temperature and the print speed. By setting these values in the right way, we can get really transparent filaments, as we obviously desired when we use uh, this kind of material. So let's start uh, by talking about the first two settings that I've mentioned, walls and infill. The less material you use, the more light will be able to pass through the print. So, lower the number of walls and the percentage of infill as much as possible to achieve a transparent print. For this reason, a technique that is a perfect match for this type of material is base mode. I've mentioned it several times on my YouTube channel, but I've not dedicated a video about it yet. So, let me know down in the comments if you might be interested in it. For the prints I'm going to show you today, I use this lysing mode for several reasons. For those who are not familiar with it, this mode is a setting that can be enabled in this slicer that will process our model in a very specific way. It will create a spiral path for the nozzle, eliminating this concept of layer. In fact, the nozzle will keep on extruding and will not stop the extrusion to go to the next layer, but will follow the spiral path. Obviously this had uh, advantages and disadvantages. In fact with this mode the model will be printed with one wall and 0% infill, so we will save a bunch of time but uh, the resistance of the print will be less than a normal print. The vase mode is perfect for this type of filament because it allows you to uh, get as much transparency as possible. Take a look, for example, at this vase that I've created with Make My Vase on Maker World, and uh, I've talked about it in a previous video if you are interested. So uh, you can see how well and transparent the walls are. As I said before, the material plays a key role in this process and I admit that this fiberlogic spool is, uh, has really amazed me. This is a new product uh, that has been released at the end of January but, uh, and it features the, uh, some properties that makes it a really special transparent filament. As anticipated, the sprinting speed is crucial in this process uh, because the filament has uh, to have the necessary time to melt uh, um, properly. In fact, usually transparent uh, filaments, either PLA or PETG, are uh, uh, printed at a slower speed uh, compared to normal filaments. But uh, this is not a problem with Fiberlogy spool, 
uh, because it is it was formulated to be printed at high speeds and uh, i would say it delivers because uh, this plier holder that you see right there was printed at 600 millimeters a second um, there are some imperfections on the curves because I haven't calibrated uh, the profile for this speed but as you can see the straight segments are perfect. If you are looking for a filament uh, to print, what a transparent filament to print with a high speed machine, this is the perfect material for you. It will also allow you to use larger nozzles for that thick layer effect that someone uh, like or doesn't. In fact, um, this is an interesting effect that highlights the layers rather than uh, trying to hide them. I've not uh, talked about uh, 0.8, 1mm or larger nozzle on the channel, but let me know if you might be interested in it. Another thing that you may have noticed about this, this filament is the color. This is the burgundy and uh, it's marvelous. I may be biased because red is my favorite color, but the effect on the print is really magnificent. Plus, uh, there are many different shades, uh, beautiful shades, that you can uh, purchase. So, take a look at their website uh, to know them. Let's get to the temperature. As I've said earlier, the filament needs to melt evenly to be properly transparent. So increasing the temperature from what you uh, usually use for classic PLA will help you get better prints. I use the temperature I uh, usually set for high speed PLA. So if you have already a profile for that material, you can use the same value. You can print anything with this filament. Uh, it is well suited for lamps, obviously, uh, vases, furniture, art pieces. This material really creates a magnificent effect, especially if it's colored. For example, I've printed the, the vase I showed you earlier, and also bowls or trails will come out beautiful with this material. But you don't have to limit yourself to aesthetic pieces. In fact, I want to show you two super functional uh, models. I mentioned earlier the plier holder that is a super simple structure, but with this filament and with this color, um, this model really is gorgeous. The same goes for those two little boxes that have printed at 500 millimeters a second, and uh, you can see that they came out perfectly. So I think that the limit with my setup is around uh, 50 feet, 550 millimeters a second. I've also printed the lids for these boxes and I think that for organizers uh, uh, transparent filaments are perfect because even if you store these boxes on a shelf uh, you can see the content um, uh, right away. So if you want a... Um, to increase the transparency of a print, you can also uh, do some post-processing. For example, you can send the piece and use some kind of spray paint uh, to increase the transparency and uh, make it look better. Furthermore, if you have a particular application that requires as much transparency as possible, you can also take a look at PVB which is a material that can be post-produced with isopropyl alcohol to achieve a super smooth and transparent surface. I have not uh, talked about it on my channel yet, but uh, uh, we might see it in the future because it's a really interesting material, although it's not super famous. So, let me know down in the comments if you have already tried this kind of filament and in the meantime, if you like this video, you may also like these ones.